Oh, you right, no strategist and this is another segment of Verum where we try to find the truth of different medias and different products that we look at every single day. Today I'm here with Yasuo who is a challenger Yasuo one trick and probably the reason why I'm bronze. <laughs> okay. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So, this is already going well. <laughs> I can give a little intro. Uh, my name is Mo or Yasuo as some people know me. Um, I'm 19 years old. I'm a full-time streamer and I also do YouTube on the side, or mainly YouTube and Twitch, and all the social medias like Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, everything. Nowadays you gotta kinda do everything, but that's a little about me. Of course. I'm, his stuff will be in the description as well. I know how to sell out. So one of the main questions is, what were you doing before streaming? Were you just like sitting at home? You just finished school? What was it? Uh, I was in high school. I was just doing my classes and after school I would just play games as much as possible. Even though, even if my parents didn't like it, I'd do it like around their backs, like just play as much as possible. And it got to the point where I got decent enough to like, you know what, maybe I'll start streaming. Like, let me just do it like an hour. It's not gonna kill me. Just try it out. Yeah. yeah. And luckily, I got I got pretty lucky as it is. Like, I got to lane against some of the best players in the world, beat them, record it, put it on YouTube, and with those videos, you went on Reddit and other other social media. Solo wing faker. Luck, yeah, just blows it's you up. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, it just blows you up completely. Yeah. I do, I do my research. What was your parent, family's initial reaction when you said like, "Hey, I want to stream full time"? Uh, Were you, was it hard to explain or? So at the time, I wasn't making too much money. I was making money, but like it wasn't like money dropout money, like quit school. You know what I mean? You're yeah. Good for life or anything like that. So obviously they were against it. They wanted me to take like a class or two at least. Like they forced me, and I was just like, "I'm sorry, I dropped all my classes. I'm doing this full time." Like I believed in myself. So I just I went with the flow, and they were like, "Okay." Yeah. Good luck. Especially, especially now, which I'm guessing, because usually your sister is like featured in it, and now she's like your little, yeah, yeah, she like is. meme assistant yep, at this yep. point. Yeah, so that's a, that's always that's adorable. Mm -hmm. When it comes to playing the game and getting better, like you mentioned before, what is what was probably the hardest thing to learn, or what was like the hardest thing to master in the game? Yeah, like um, honestly, whether it be mechanics. No, not even mechanics. Not about vision. Not about anything. It's all about your mentality. That's the hardest thing. There's so many players that like have so much talent, but their mentality is so bad that once they get one player playing bad on their team, or they mess up once, they just want to go next game. They don't want to even play it anymore. And then that just causes so many losses and so much like so many like bad games to happen. Yeah, I'm stuck. Yeah, I'm stuck in silver for that reason and that reason only. <laughs> yep, I believe it. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> for the people that want to get into the gaming industry and league in general, so basically getting, what would you say is the best way to get started? Gaming industry and league, um, I would say just if it depends on what you want to do. Like, there's a lot of people that want to do stuff with esports, like interviews. They want to like, become management agents, managers, all that type of stuff. If you're trying to do that stuff, I'm not the best person to ask for that. But if you're talking about streaming, start streaming instantly. Stream as much as possible. Get a schedule. Work on all your social medias at once. Like, that's something people don't do. People just stream for eight hours a day and they're like, oh, I did what I could. No. You advertise on Twitter. You comment on people's Twitters. You ch not not check out my Twitch of this. No, make funny jokes. Like make memes. That's what people like. Just like become the person people know. Like oh that guy's funny. Let me click on his twi Twitter. Go to his Twitch. Like people don't take advantage of that at all with social media nowadays. Like it's such, so big. Like people. That's like one of the reasons like that helped me blow up quick. I would collaborate with YouTubers. I would always comment on people's Twitter posts. Like make memes. You like, being with offline TV. Yeah, exactly. Like a month. Yep. Do anything. There's so many things to do and people don't really take advantage of it. How did you and Pinoy meet? Um, so, actually, you're an uh, editor. Yeah, we met. We go. met when we actually. I actually had like four viewers on Twitch. So really back in the day, one of my first viewers, uh, his name is Caleb. He now makes my thumbnails. He like he's got a Photoshop and stuff like that. Okay. So he when if he, like we used to talk. He was one of my first viewers. Started talking on Discord, and he knew Pinoy in real life from like other friends, like each other. Pinoy, like, we used to go to the same school, and he was telling me like, yo, like you're really good. Um, 
So he would, he would tell Pinoy about me, and Pinoy's like, yo, you are really good. And at the time, I like beat Cutie Pie in a 1v1. And I like had that all on Twitch, and he's like, let me make a video for you. And I'm like, I can't pay you all the money. Like, What was the mentality when that happened? Was Pinar like, oh god, I'm not gonna get paid for this? Or was he just like doing it because? So Pinoy actually edited for himself, made his own videos and stuff, and they didn't do too well. They would get like 50, 100 views, like something like that, like in the lower amounts, obviously. True. And so he was like, you know what, I see potential in you, like you can go pro, you're really talented, you're funny, like all this. Let me start editing for you. So you start editing, and the more views you get, thousands, like, if, if like, I'm sure if like we weren't getting views, we we're getting like sub hundred views or sub a thousand views, like every single day or whenever he would edit, he wouldn't want to do it. So I, I'd understand that, but he gave it a shot. I gave it a shot streaming as much as I can, putting in as much content, and it worked out really well. It's not like he uploaded daily and put in every single day like he does now. Like now he puts like eight hours a day working. It's like a full-time job editing for me. Yeah, of course. But back in the day, he would edit once a week. So it wasn't that much of a commitment, but it was still definitely him putting in work. Like it was him putting in effort. One of the things I saw was you, I think a few months ago, you were streaming for charity. I forgot. Yes. St. Jude's Hospital. No. Was it? You're a fucking idiot. It was for Coalition of the Homeless. Coalition for the Homeless. Oh, yeah. That it was, was a New York charity based for homeless people. My bad. Oh, not so uh, good. <laughs> yeah. Short term memory loss, everyone. Uh, that's why I forget the look of my map. <laughs> so, what, how did it feel to see that you could turn on your stream? make these kind of events and be like, hey, I could start raising money and charity just for playing League of Legends and having a community. So I've always wanted to do something like that and I always see streamers doing events like this and I'm like, you know what, let me take it to the next level. I'm not gonna just turn on my stream, hey, donate here if you guys want. Like, sure, that's like cool and that's great, but like, it's, it's nice, but I'm trying to make it funny too. I'm trying to get, I'm trying to get people entertained, have people donate for goals. Like for example, I set like a $50 goal, donate $50 like total, and I'll crack an egg on my head. Donate $100, I'll take a shot of hot sauce. Donate $500, I'll take a shot of apple cider vinegar, because that makes me throw up. Oh yeah, that um, makes everyone throw up. Yeah, $1,000, I'll shave my legs. $5,000, shave my armpits. Like, I, I even dyed my hair pink fully, bleached it. Yeah, then you pink, shaved your head, I shaved I my complete head off for, and my, I was bald for four months. So that was pretty sick. Raised I forgot what people head. called you when you were head that on. Um, oh my God, it's one of the, it's one of the boxers from, it's the boxing guy from Street Fighter. Do you know Martin? No? Shit. Uh, but anyway, that was, that was probably yeah. the funniest thing I've seen. So uh, how does Sonic Games treat you? The Sonic game you bought you? <laughs> uh, it's not that great. I've spent like maybe like 10 hours, 15 hours on the game total. It's a pretty fun game, but it gets really frustrating. Like right now, I don't even want to play it anymore. I don't even want to think about it. Because 90% of the people I get to the boss I'm on Sonic just quit. Because yeah. it's too hard. But I'll try to make it through. We'll see how it goes. But yeah. What do you think of the reworks that they have recently for Riot? She's really. The new Akali or just in general? Just reworks in general, like Warwick being super good. Uh, York being I think they're all, I think it's really good. Like some of the, they reworked some of the more simplistic kits. Like if a collie, throw a Q, auto attack at procs, hold back. New Akali, you hit a Q, you have to walk out of the range, go back into auto attack. Like there's a lot of stuff to do. So I, I think it's really cool like how Riot's like making the game like, I don't want to, less noob friendly, but at the same time like, it's more unique and interesting. It's not the same kit, like three hit passive. Here you go, hit three times, you get extra like yeah. new stuff with Riot. How do you think Twitch and gaming in general be in the future? Do you see it having more competition? Do you see it's just gonna be the same like five people just having the best thing? What do you uh, think? I'm sure new stuff will come out with time. Like especially, I honestly really hope they do something with VR. Like that'd be really cool. They somehow set something up here. I know VR people have been like getting into that recently. Beat Saber, I think, yeah. I think, yeah, I think that's really cool. Maybe like some way to like, in, like Put that into league in a way too, like even like just like control minions. Like I'm sure they're gonna do something like that. That's like more Starcrafty. I'm pretty sure, like controlling different minions to move around. Map. Basically, play like an RTS. Yeah. I will pop. I will probably shut on every single person. Yeah, that, who does that'd, that. be a, that'd be a great game. So just new stuff in general would be really nice. Keep the game changing. Yeah, I'm glad to hear that. Well, thank you everyone for joining us today, Mo. Thank you very much thank for joining you, thank us. Thank you for having me. Do you have anything else to say? You want to pitch in? Thank you for watching the interview. Watch the merch. No, we, don't, we don't have merch now, don't worry, we're good. Thank you though. Alright everyone, I'm your strategist, this is Mo. Thanks for letting us share our knowledge, and we'll see you in the next one. Take care everyone. Good shit, right. bro! Of course, thank you. I'll be, I'll be around the stream later.